And when the phone call came that the heart was available, obviously we had this mad dash to get dressed because it's 1 a.m. in the morning. Obviously, you have to think about the donor, the donor's family having a tragic event. Right now, transplanting a human heart is still extremely difficult for three reasons. One, the supply is very limited. Only a very small number of organ donors end up actually donating viable hearts, and not all of those make it into recipients. Two, you can't just swap out a heart. The heart and recipient have to be a good enough match. But the biggest problem is that you only have six hours to work with. The longer the heart is outside of the body, the riskier it is to implant that heart. And the reason these problems are such problems are because of this. Despite all the advances we have made in the past 40 years in modern medicine, we still are dependent on a cooler and a time clock that we are w working against. Um, the concept of using a uh, heart on a machine has been a um, intriguing and a fascinating subject. But most people that see it uh, have a definite emotional reaction. It looks like something you should never see. The organ care system is an integrated system that allows us to keep organs alive, beating and breathing between the donor and the recipient instead of storing them on ice. Transmedics and the, um, the pioneers in the company have been um, working on this concept for two decades. After the heart is removed from a donor, it's attached to what is called the organ care system, or OCS. The heart in a box is going to replace the old therapy. Nothing to do with ice. Ice is over. This is clearly the coolest technology that you could ever hope to work for. Everybody in the company is so focused on enabling more patients to receive this gift of transplantation. You know, we're highly motivated to make sure that this is successful. That should be a happy feeling that the donor didn't completely die. That donor is now alive in me.